moving on to the Pride event tomorrow, this is likely to provoke some political or politicized pushback, especially from um, you know some of the states that have passed legislation targeting sexual minorities or from countries that have done the same. So could I just hear from you, why does the White House feel that this event is important, especially in this context? So we've had multiple events celebrating the LGBTQ plus community, multiple. Uh, and uh, this is a president that has been a strong ally, uh, a vice president that has been a strong ally, a second gentleman, a first lady that has been a strong ally of the, of the community. And it is important, he feels it is important, they feel it is important to lift up a community, uh, to uh, lift up their accomplishments and what they've been able to do uh, for the community. And so we think it's an important moment. And let's not forget what we're seeing across the country from state houses. More than 600 pieces of legislation, anti-LGBTQ plus legislation, a few hundred of those are against transgender youth. And so we have not seen that type of anti-sentiment uh, anti against this community in decades. And so we believe that uh, not only does this community need to be celebrated and continue to be celebrated, as he's done many times before in this, in this past two years, uh, but we also need to make sure that we let the community know uh, that the president has their back and we're going to continue to fight for them. And so that is important. I think that is important uh, to be able to bring a couple of thousand uh, Americans uh, here to the White House to let them know that this president is going to continue to fight for them. And that's the message that we want to make sure that gets out there.